guys welcome to my channel where we'll be discussing family faith hope and love i'm so glad that you joined me let's be fed daily bread are you hungry You have joined me on my digital journey. I have been led by the Holy Spirit to drop you golden nuggets each and every day. If this is your very first time tuning in, go ahead, subscribe to my channel, and please share it with your family and with your friends. Today is actually episode 384. Yes, 384. Hello to my family and friends. Thank you for joining me on my digital journey. Thank you so much for your love. Thank you so much for your support. Episode 384, I'm going to be talking to you today about the word harshness. Yes, harshness. You know, Holy Spirit do have a sense of humor. Um, I was just going about my business today. It's a rainy day. And you know how it is to try to maneuver in the rain. And as soon as I got back home, I heard in the spirit, like, okay, you need to do your episode. And I was like, okay, um, try not to be as gloomy as the weather on the outside. And then when I look to see what the word for today is, it's harshness. And if you know what the definition of harshness is, it's the quality of being unpleasantly rough or jarring to senses. Um, it also says the quality of being cruel or severe. Um, I personally know that I can be a bit harsh at times, especially on a day like today when the weather is like gloomy. Um, like how's the weather? The weather today is extremely gloomy and I'm talking about being harsh. But the weather should not be an excuse of your exterior or how you portray yourself. So I'm not going to say that the weather is the reason why people do what they do or they act, which is sometimes the majority of the times, but we're not going to say it's the weather. It's the individual itself. And I too am guilty of harshness. We're not perfect. Um, you know, sometimes someone will ask me a question. Um, my mind is like, okay, what is the purpose of this question? And then sometimes, you know, you have to think like, okay, you cannot allow the way that you express yourself to people um, to be in that manner. So I think what the Holy Spirit wants me to bring on this platform for you today is that we have to be um, mindful of what we're doing, how we're reacting. Um, and there's a perfect scripture um, that the Holy Spirit wanted me to bring to your attention that's in regard to the word harshness. And it comes from the book of Proverbs and it's chapter 15, verses one. And it says, a soft word turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. I'll repeat that. A soft word turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. So, let's get the, um, is it the antonyms of harsh? Um, the opposite, soft, subdued, enlightened, kind, lenient, comfortable. So this is the way that you want to be able to respond to people. Scripture says that we must be soft with our words. Um, I read a book that is called The Four Agreements, and I always try to think on whenever I face whatever situation, don't take things personal, don't make assumptions, be impeccable with your words and be the best version um, that you can be of yourself. 
So obviously, you don't want to have a version of being known as being harsh and rough and cruel. You want to be able to be soft and tender, enlightened and lenient. Um, so I'm going to use that word that I always tell my granddaughter is to ponder before you even speak. Um, because if you're pondering and you're thinking, um, you won't let yourself get the best of you. And you won't be harsh with your words. Um, you will take some time to reflect on your situation. And um, practice, you just got to practice it. And I too am going to put it into practice since the Holy Spirit obviously is reminding that we are not um, to be harsh with our words. So take that opportunity to look within, take that opportunity to ponder before you start speaking, take that opportunity to always, what is the opposite of the word? Um, harshness, you know, it's rough, you know, it's rugged. So anything that is rough, the opposite of it should be soft. So practice, um, doing exactly what the Word of God has um, commanded us to do and life will be um, much more um, doable um, because like you said in the scripture if you are harsh it is going to store up anger and you definitely don't want to be in that type of situation um, it's not good for you mentally it's not good for you physically and it's not good for you spiritually um, we can't always be happy and bubbly each and every day um, but what you could basically do is be impeccable with your words and do everything in your best not to be harsh with your response and make sure that it is a soft answer I need you to know that the word of God proves to be true yes it does and God himself is a shield to all of those who come to him for protection so we're going to ask God today to protect us and allow us to make sure that the words of our mouth, the meditation of our heart is acceptable and that we are no longer operating um, in harshness and that the words that we're saying, the answers are going to be soft and pleasing to the Lord and then it would not store up any anger with anyone whatsoever. My question to you each and every day is, are you hungry? I know that I am. So let's be fed daily bread.